Come on, why don't you can you open your mouth and say something to the Lord? Hallelujah. Just wanna praise you forever and ever and ever for all you've done for me.
and follow us on Facebook and subscribe to us on YouTube channel. Let everyone know that we're live and in effect. Hallelujah. We're here this morning to give God the praise. At this time, we have our opening prayer by none other than Deacon S and training Lakira McDonald and our scripture by none other than aspiring missionary Toshana Peace. Thanking you for another day, thanking you for another chance that we've never seen before and that we'll never see again, God. Lord God, we thank you for blessing us to make it here one more day. Hallelujah. One more day just to give your name the praise. One more day to lift your name up. Hallelujah. One more day to say thank you. One more chance. Hallelujah. One more opportunity to bless your name, God. And we don't take it lightly, God. We ask that you move in this service. We hallelujah. We ask that you move in this service. Let your presence rest in this building, God. Hallelujah. Sweep through this building like never before, God. Hallelujah. Bless the need. Hallelujah. Meet the need today, God. Hallelujah. We come before you as empty vessels, waiting to be filled up, God. Hallelujah. Be filled by you, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, we ask that you bless our, our leader, Bishop. Hallelujah. And the, and the first family, God. Hallelujah. Touch him, hallelujah, in a mighty way, God. Move today like never before. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, amen. 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 The scripture says, thus says the Lord, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, let not the mighty man glory in his might, nor let the rich man glory in his riches, but let him who glories glory in this, that he understands and knows me, that I am the Lord, exercising loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these I delight, says the Lord. Jeremiah 9, 23, 24. Thank you. Come on, you can give God a hand of praise. Hallelujah. Come on, the song says, I made it, and it was nothing but the grace of God. Hallelujah. But I know it was by the grace of God on this morning. Come on, let's put those hands together.
I get paid. I'm so sorry, God. <laughs> but it's still in there. I ain't spent it. All right. <laughs> I was about to, but then something in my spirit said it just time last week. And I checked and said, no, I did not. Hallelujah. All right, everyone is standing with an offering this morning. Allow the Lord to speak to your hearts this morning concerning what you should give. After all, I can tell you about it, but if it don't touch your heart, it, it, it's like tinkling brass. I'm going to allow the Lord to touch your heart and tell you what to give on today. I'm just going to say, be a cheerful giver. Oh, 
Spirit of God, we can make sure we give them a hundred fold in Jesus' name we pray. Everyone say amen. At this time, our music ministry is coming. And the word on this morning will be brought by none other than Elder Tony Green, the son of this house. So we pray that as the music ministry ministers, that you will prepare your hearts, your minds, and your souls to receive the word that the Lord has on for you today. Give them a hand as they come. serve a beautiful Savior, don't we? Yes. Hallelujah. Isn't he beautiful?
that my situation will be changed. Hallelujah. Anybody came with a made up mind that today, I'm going to say yes to the Lord. Hallelujah. Anybody said today, I'm just going to say yes to the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm not going to be messing around anymore, but today I made up my mind. I'm going to say yes to the will of the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands and give God one more hand clap of praise. Give it out to God who is the head of my life to our great, great leader. I call him the pastor of pastors. He's the bishop of bishops. His grace, the most reverend, Bill H. McDonald. Come on, let's give God a great praise. Hallelujah. And in her absence, wonderful, sweet, vivacious, loving, caring, most kind woman that I know, our first lady, the ele uh, elect lady, evangelist, I want to say, come on, give her a great, great praise. To Bishop Rimson in his absence, to the clergy, and to this fine praise team, give them a hand, hallelujah. Faithful, amazing, to these amazing musicians, I won't be. I won't be before you long at all. Hallelujah. God is amazing, isn't he? We had a, an amazing time yesterday at Dave and Buster celebrating 50 year anniversary of our bishop and first lady. We had a real good saved bachelor party yesterday at Dave and Buster. <laughs> we appreciate all the brothers who was there. We had an amazing time, great food, great laughs. And we thank God for what he's doing in our bishop's life. Doesn't he look good? Hallelujah. I watched him, I watched him yesterday as he walked and he just got this glad back and I just begin to say, God, I thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Won't be before you know, very familiar passage of scripture, two verses, uh, Acts 16. 25 and 26 and it says and at midnight Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God and the prisoners heard them 26 says and suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prisons were shaken and immediately all the doors were open and everybody's bands were loose the word of the Lord is blessed you may take your seat Hallelujah. Just look at the person next to you. Hallelujah. And say, neighbor. Neighbor. neighbor, neighbor. Tell them, say, praise. praise. Save, your life. Save your life. Clap your hands and give God some praise. Hallelujah. How many know praise saved your life? Hallelujah. And I, 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 we know the story. I just want to focus to this morning on that one word. Praise. And we're going to dive into praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But how many know that praise saved your life? Now, I know many of us here, you say, you know what? I don't really praise it. And I have some problems and situations. And, and before you know it, it was just turned around for me. But let me serve notice on you if that's your thinking. You may not have praise or you may not think praise saved your life, but somebody else got the wind of your situation and they begin to pray and praise God for you. And you didn't even know it. Hallelujah. You sitting back thinking it was your talent. It was your pedigree. Hallelujah. It was your swag. It was your, it was your slickness that got you out. But how many know it was somebody that prayed for you, went to the church and gave, gave God a great praise. And that praise pushed you to your next level. That praise got you out of what you're in. So I come to serve notice on you that praise saved your life. Hallelujah. You ought to give God a great praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Those boys, those boys for doing the will of God. Doing the will of God because there was a girl going around duping people for money. Hallelujah. And the money changes was making great money off of her. And then when Paul and Silas shouted to the rooftop what she was doing. Hallelujah. That ruler said, no, I can't have them messing up my money. I can't have them messing up what's going on. So I need you to get them and put them in jail. Hallelujah. So when they put them in jail, hallelujah, the Bible talks about. They didn't mumble. They didn't complain. They wasn't trying to talk their way out. Hallelujah. They sat there. 
and they did what they know to do. They started to give God praise. Hallelujah. And watch what the praise did. Watch what praise can do. Not only did it shake the foundation of the prison, hallelujah, but the doors flew open. Hallelujah. The, the, the jealous, the Bible said, were so afraid that they were about to take their own life. Hallelujah. But he said, no, don't take your life. We're still here. We're still in the prison. Hallelujah. The Bible goes on to say, not only did they, did they save their life, they opened up the door and the jealous got scared and stayed there, but the jealous family, through two men's praise, got saved. Hallelujah. Look at somebody and say, praise will save your life. Hallelujah. When trouble begins to surround you, hallelujah, you ought to look for the ways to focus your thoughts and your actions on praise. Hallelujah. And thanksgiving. And then allow God to work his wonders through your testimony of praise. Hallelujah. Your testimony of praise while going through the storm. Uh, you got to be some type of wonderful praiser to develop, to develop a testimony of praise. That says I'm a praiser throughout, no matter what I have going on or what situations or circumstances in my life, I'll always give God the a praise. I heard my sister Charity talk about uh, message talking about giving God a yet praise. Hallelujah! A yet praise is a praise through the storm. A yet praise is no matter what I'm facing, what I'm dealing with, I'll always give God what's due Him, and that's His praise. Hallelujah! Do I got any praises in the house? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah! When your heart, this is what praise can do for you. When your heart turns to God, trusting him and praising his great name, you will find his peace, which passes all understanding through your praise. Hallelujah. Uh, Psalms 5 and 11 says, but let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them ever sing for you. Spread your perfection over them, that those who love your name may rejoice in you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm talking about what praise can do for you because praise, hallelujah, saves your life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Anybody been into some situations and you didn't know what to do and how to do? Hallelujah. You just was messed up. Hallelujah. And all you had was a praise. You didn't even feel like praising. You, 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 you didn't even know, really know how to praise. But you mustered up a praise. And then you turned around, you looked around, and all of a sudden that thing began to, hallelujah, turn for you. Hallelujah. Uh, there's, 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 there's a few ways, there's a few types, hallelujah, of personal praise. And then there's a few corporate praise. Hallelujah. Praise is so vitally important to the believer. Hallelujah. Praise was so important that, that the mention, the reference of praise was mentioned in the Bible over 6,425 times. Hallelujah. 245 times in the old, 262 times in the new. That praise was mentioned and praise was referenced. So there has to be a reason why the Bible mentions and references praise so much. Hallelujah. The different ty types of praises is the Torah praise, which is hallelujah, a sacrifice of praise. Hallelujah. The Yahweh praise, which is the hands raised. The Barak praise, which is a quiet voice. The Halalah praise, which is the hallelujah, soul rejoicing. The Zamar praise, which is the instrument of praise. The Tehillah praise, which is the singing along praise. The, the Shabbat praise, which is the shout of joy. Whichever one you know to do, hallelujah, the spirit of the Lord is saying, do it, hallelujah, with all your might, because praise just may be the thing to save your life. Hallelujah, clap your hands and give God some praise. Hallelujah. We've been walking around not really understanding the why of what we're going through. You've been walking around going through hell, dealing with different things, and you don't understand, hallelujah, why you're dealing with it or how to deal with it or, or even what to do. I heard, I hear somebody saying to themselves, what do I do when I don't know what to do? Hallelujah. My answer to you is just simply lift up your hands and praise. Just, just open up your mouth and, and, and give God a praise. Hallelujah. 
you and that praise will rescue you hallelujah praise is more powerful than we can ever imagine hallelujah I thought about it and as I was researching and studying the scriptures and, 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 and putting this message together I found that there are seven benefits of praising God in hard times hallelujah y'all got time for me to tell you hallelujah seven benefits of praising God in hard times hallelujah first benefit is God will fight for you when you praise hallelujah God will fight for you hallelujah hallelujah when you place your full trust in him hallelujah when you stop worrying and trying to fix it on your own you allow the space for God to step in giving the glory to God hallelujah and praise is his powerful and faithfulness hallelujah trust that God is working for your good watch this in all things hallelujah thank you Jesus praise will fight for you anybody ready to let pet your praise fight for you hallelujah you ought to give God some praise right now through there yeah, yeah. Oh, hallelujah thank you Jesus yeah, when yeah. when 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 you begin to sing mm. and you begin to praise God yeah. the Lord sets ambush against the men he set ambush against the men of Aram and Moab hallelujah and he'll set ambush just like he did for them against your own and your very enemies when you begin to praise God hallelujah the second thing is and I'm almost through hallelujah that God will number two God will protect you hallelujah through your praises God will protect you hallelujah God is your shelter from the storm your your refuge in the time of trouble he will protect you from the battle in this life hallelujah so you might as well rejoice in God who loves you so much and give him praise hallelujah hallelujah I'm talking about the seven benefits of praising God through hard times hallelujah number three God will refresh you I like this one he will refresh you and renew your spirit hallelujah he will refresh you and renew your spirit Hallelujah. So many people have been broken due to hard times and the things that they're going through. People are going through deaths in their family, folk walking away from them, divorces, family problems. Hallelujah. And you're broken. But the Spirit of the Lord says, if you learn how to give me a praise, I will refresh and renew your broken spirit. Hallelujah. When the trials of life Hallelujah, hallelujah, leaves you worn down and worn out and weary. Singing God's praises will fill your heart with joy. Lift your heart and God and allow him to refresh and renew your spirit. Hallelujah. Praise can turn around even the worst days and make your heart feel light. Hallelujah. It can boost your spirit and put a smile on your face. In the face. Anybody got a praise on them right now? Anybody got one last praise in them? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We sitting around tripping, worrying about what's going to what's gonna happen, how ends are going to be, what's going to happen with our children. And the Lord said, listen, just praise me and I'll fight your battle. I'll protect you. I will renew and, and strengthen you. Anybody need to be renewed in your mind? Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands and give God some praise. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number three. That was number three. Number four. Praise gives God a gift and an offering. Never thought about that one, did you? I know I, I didn't either. Hallelujah. God, praising God gives God a gift and an offering. Praise is not only a command, but it's a gift that we give to God. It is a sacrifice of our hearts. Wow. Wow. Hallelujah. It is a sacrifice of our hearts. Giving him 
our best. Hallelujah. Even when we don't feel up to it. Hallelujah. The more we praise God and give him this gift, the more we'll be filled with God's love to share with others. Hallelujah. Praising God through the storm is not only blesses God, but it will bless, watch this, it will bless those who who are a witness to such faithfulness. In other words, folks that know you're going through stuff, folks that know you're dealing with things, folks that know you got hallelujah, whatever going on in your life, and they see you sacrifice a praise and give God praise, the Bible is saying hallelujah, that that will bless them, hallelujah, because they're witnessing you praise God through the most difficult times in your life, hallelujah. You oftentimes hear me say, don't be selfish in your praise or your approach to praise because you never know what the person sitting next to you been through just to make it to the house today. Hallelujah. It is your praise that can push them. Hallelujah to where they got to be. Hallelujah. Come on, give God some praise. We're almost done. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise number five makes the stomp, makes your trouble seems smaller. Too. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise makes your storm or your troubles seem harder. I mean, smaller. Thank you, Jesus. When life is hard, it's easy to focus in on all of the problems that you're facing. Yeah. Those challenges that begins to loom longer and all you can see are the difficulties you're facing. Yeah. Hallelujah. But when you turn your heart to praising God uh -huh. through these problems, yeah. hallelujah, these problems begin to sink. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. As your eyes focus on God, you'll find a new perspective uh -huh. on your trials. As as the song says, uh, the things of this world, of this earth, will grow, hallelujah, strongly dim. But set your mind on things above and not the on the earthly things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what praise. Hallelujah. Will do for you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Number six, and I'm almost done. Thank you, Jesus. Praise opens your eyes oh, yeah. to blessings. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise opens your eyes to blessings because let's be honest when we go on through stuff we're not focused on blessings we're not focused on good things because we're too engulfed in what we're going through we don't see no light at the end of the tunnel but when you begin to praise hallelujah you can see the light and not only do you see the light you will have enough strength to, to stand up and begin to walk in the light that you see due to your praise hallelujah Thank you, Jesus. When you're embottled and under fire, it can be hard to notice the blessings. Yes. But your focus is on the issue in your life and not on the blessing. But when you learn to muster up a praise, hallelujah, you move God from the throne to come down to where you are to see about you. Hallelujah. And then you'll be able through your praise to have a greater expectation. Hallelujah. Your praise will move you to a greater expectation. Before you learn to praise, you didn't have an expectation. But because you learned to pray, and the more you praise, the more your faith begins to grow. And the more your faith begins to grow, hallelujah, the more faithful you become. And then you are able to, hallelujah, overcome the things that you have to deal with. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praising God will open your eyes. Hallelujah. To see all the weight. Hallelujah. That God is working in your life. Hallelujah. You'll see the blessings he's given you outside of these trials that you're going through. And you'll see how he works. Hallelujah. In your battles. Hallelujah. You'll begin to set your eyes upon him and you'll see him more clearly than you ever have before. You ought to give God some praise right about there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Jesus. And the last one is praise makes miracles possible. Hallelujah. Does anybody need a miracle in this place? Hallelujah. Praise makes miracles possible. Hallelujah. Because as I forestated, when you begin to praise and you see God more clearly, you can focus on doing the work of God. And when you focus on doing the work of God, miracles will begin to happen in your life. That that you thought could never happen will begin to happen. Hallelujah. You, you'll get jobs that you didn't even apply for. You, you'll get promotions that you wasn't even thinking about. As a matter of fact, your supervisors and your managers, they'll come to you and say, hey, have you thought about doing this position? We thought about you and we thought because of the work that you're doing in your entry level position, you'd be great for this position. Hallelujah. Your praise makes miracles happen. Hallelujah. How many know, hallelujah, how powerful your praise is? How many, hallelujah, will commit back to giving God praises? How many will, hallelujah, re redefine or, or, or refine or, or, or reconnect, that's a better word, with your praises? How many say, God, I've been lacking a little bit. I, I, I've been slowful just a little bit. I, I've been poo-pooing over praise. I haven't really thought about the power of your praise. I haven't really given you what I'm supposed to give you in by way of praise. But God, I'm rededicated right now to your praise. I don't care what comes or what goes. Hallelujah. I'm going to rededicate myself to your praise. Because God, I believe now, I see now that my praise is much greater than my problems. My praise is much greater than my situation. You are much greater than what I'm going through. Hallelujah. So now, God, I'm going to recommit to my praise. Hallelujah. Because it's my praise that can move me to the next level. Hallelujah. Clap your hands and give God some praise. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Yes. Out of here. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Whatever you do, I'm closing. Whatever you do, whatever you do, whatever you do, whatever you do, don't lose your praise. Hallelujah. That's all I need to tell you. That's all I got for you. And I'm going to my seat. Whatever you do, don't lose your praise. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, don't lose your praise. Hallelujah. Come on, look at somebody and tell them, say, don't lose your praise. Hallelujah. Whatever you do, hallelujah, don't lose your praise. Hallelujah. You can lose your house. Hallelujah. But don't lose your praise. Hallelujah. You can lose your job. Hallelujah. But don't lose your praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. You can lose a lot. Hallelujah. But don't lose your praise. Hallelujah. You can lose. Hallelujah. Your car. But don't lose your praise. Look at somebody and say, don't lose. Hallelujah. Your praise. Hallelujah. Because God, hallelujah, is greater. Hallelujah. Than anything. Hallelujah. That you can ever be faced with. Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah has a greater anointing for you. That's why you're going through. Because God, hallelujah, has a greater anointing. Hallelujah. And he wants to bless you. I come to tell you that God, hallelujah, he is faithful. Hallelujah. All night. Yes, sir. And all day. Angels, hallelujah, been watching over you. Hallelujah. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Won't he will? He'll open up a door that no man can close. Yeah. God is able. Yeah. God is faithful. Yeah. God can do it. Won't he do it? Let him do it. Yeah. Your praise will 
he's not going over to the keyboard because we can't take the praise of musicians with them. We can't take them on our job. They're not in our homes. Can we give God praise without the music? Can we give God praise without the drums? Can we give God praise in the middle of our situation? Come on and give God praise. Hallelujah. Hey man, I got a picture. Do the announcements and we're going to go home. Hey man, get ready for our next service on this morning. Did we not enjoy the word of God this morning? Pray. you got to do if you got to shove up the Lord. If you got to lift your hands, whatever you got to do to give God praise, praise can save your life. It was at midnight that Paul and Silas gave God praise. And at the midnight is the darkest hour. Can you give him praise in your midnight hour? Praise can save your life. Come on and let's give Elder Green another hand on this morning. And then we thank God for strength for him on today. Tuesday through Thursday at 9 a.m. You can dial in for one hour of power. There will be no Bible study this Tuesday night. We will have our youth service this Wednesday night, but we will do it through Zoom. I will send out the link for you to join us on this Wednesday night at 6 p.m. We're standing. We're standing. Amen. Father God, we thank you. We thank you for this word on today. God, we thank you. Because you've given us the tools, oh God, that we need to survive. You've given us a praise. You've given us our hands to clap our voice, so to talk our voice, to sing. God, for that we say thank you on today. God, we thank you for every mountain you brought us over, for every trial you've taken us through. God, we give you praise on today because you're worthy of our praise, God. Oh God, we ask you to bless us as we leave this place with not your presence until we come back again. Jesus name I pray. Thank God and amen.